Problem Set 4 was definitely challenging. I want to talk a little bit about what I hope you all got out of it and how it seemed to go. We've only done a few of the demos. All the demos yesterday went really well. And hopefully that will continue with the demos today and the rest of the week. So the two biggest things that I hope everyone got out of Problem Set 4 is a real understanding that there's nothing magic going on inside the kernel. All the programming that you've done until problem set four, I think for, for almost all of you, I think maybe even for all of you, has been at user level. And there's been a lot of magic going on. You've been relying on all of these programs that run underneath your program to do all these things that make it very easy to do simple things in your program like printing and registering key presses and mouse clicks. What I hope you all got from doing problem set four is a clear understanding that there's really nothing magic going on to make all that happen. That it's just code running. It's code running at a low level, so it can see specific locations in memory and can <coughs> manipulate them directly. But there's nothing magic about that. The other big thing I hope everyone got out of Problem Set 4 is a really big appreciation of the value of memory protection. Part of why Problem Set 4 was so tough, I know a lot of teams really worked hard and hard, had a hard time getting the file system to work. And some of that is getting experience developing at this level. Some of it is making sure to really think through your design and make things as simple as possible. Because everything, once you give up on memory protection, everything you have to do becomes a lot harder. All of the kinds of things that would be fairly easily fixed in a user level program where you would get a seg fault, or if you're using a, a type safe language, you get an error at compile time or runtime that would tell you pretty clearly what's going on. Once you move to the kernel level and start doing things where you're manipulating addresses directly, well, you've given all that up. So instead of getting seg faults, you get mysterious behavior where your program's crashing or hanging or bashing some location in memory, and it's very hard to tell what's going on. So that's something that I hope you appreciate in all your future user level programming, how much the kernel is giving you by this very simple feature of virtual memory and not allowing you to access addresses that are not part of your memory space. That's a big win. In terms of how teams did, this is based on just what you submitted. Definitely there's a lot of ambiguity whether you got the file system to work or not. Probably the ones that said they were working aren't completely perfect in all ways, but definitely got things working enough to make those commands work and, and be happy with it. Some of the ones that didn't get things working according to what you submitted at, at least had a good design and, and got a fair bit done. And you can definitely still do well on problems at four, even if you didn't get the file system working. But about half of the teams were able to get the file system working. There were some teams that were only expected to do the first four problems because they started doing their projects early and had arranged with me to have more time to work on the projects. But of the 28 or so that were doing the rest of the assignment, about half were able to get the file system to work. And pretty um, good fraction were able to get the other parts. Um, if you weren't able to get it to work, you shouldn't feel too stressed about that because about half of the other teams weren't able to get it to work either. So it's either a, a half, glass half full or a glass half empty. Um, it was definitely a hard assignment. You know, I would have liked for all teams to be able to get it to work. And I, I think it's probably for teams that actually started around the time the assignment started instead of waiting until a few days before it was due, it was definitely feasible to get the file system working and to, and to be able to do everything. For teams that started late, that was pretty challenging. There were additional challenges given not having too much time to do it.